Hello, let's make connections. What do we have today? <laughs> okay, uh, happy April Fool's Day, I guess. What on earth? All right, okay, so it's all, I guess these are emojis specifically. They're not just images, these are emojis. I wonder if that means they have I wonder if that means they have technically exact words that are associated with them. I'm not going to know those mostly. I mean, I'll, I assume most of them are just the thing that they look like. Um, okay, well, how do we get started with this? Um, I mean, we have foods, we have bacon, cheese, lettuce, a teapot, I guess. Um, bread. I mean, these are sandwich ingredients. Lettuce, bread, cheese, bacon. These could all be sandwich ingredients. The only other food is the teapot or food slash food related object. But I don't think that doesn't feel the same. These are sandwich ingredients. I'm going to try this. <laughs> this is so absurd. Oh, food slang for money. That's more specific than what I had in mind. How, how is that? So Bread, sure. Bacon, as in you bring home the bacon, you earn money. Lettuce, yes, I have heard that used for dollars because they're green. Uh, cheese, I'm not so sure about. Cheddar, I've heard to mean money. But this is definitely not cheddar cheese. That looks like Swiss cheese in the little graphic. Maybe, che maybe cheese is slang for money. I didn't know that or so. Um, that's fine. Okay, what else do we have? We have... Well, I and B are incredibly commonly used in sort of visual rebus puzzles to mean letters. So I, B, I mean, I guess this could be an alien or an ET that's two letters. That seems a bit strange. That might be a, that might be a red herring or just unrelated. Um, okay. A teapot and a saw are both sort of tools. Saw could be a verb, as in I saw something, and I see with my eye. I don't know. Sheep. B. Oh, wait. Sorry. B. B. I. Oh, no, those are the two. <laughs> those are the two I already saw in terms of letters. Okay, so I had a bit of a moment there. Um, anyway, sheep and a bee are animals. I mean, Dracula is a creature. An alien is a creature. The sort of, I assume this is meant to evoke the scream, the, the you know, person depicted in the Munch painting, the scream. I don't know what the actual name of this emoji is. Is it scream? A, a, uh, a plane and a train are modes of transportation. They rhyme, I guess. I found a lot of two things that match, which isn't really sufficient. Oh, brain. Brain, plane, train, rhyme. Um, okay. What have I not investigated? Saw, I don't think I've matched with anything. I sort of tried to match it with the eye. The sheep and the bee because they're animals. Um, teapot, I don't think I've matched with anything. The sort of cloud or rain cloud, rain cloud, I guess it is specifically. Um, natural phenomena that does that's absurd oh maybe it's just rain maybe it's not cloud or rain cloud but just rain rain plane brain train they rhyme yes words that rhyme okay we're getting there we're getting closer what, what's left now what have i not really invested dracula feels like the real odd one out because the rest of these feel like they can be really simple words Maybe not teapot. 
Oh, wait, hold on. Similarly to how the the rain cloud was just rain, maybe the teapot is just tea. Because then you could have T-B-I. E-T, I keep thinking E-T, but that's two letters. I can't imagine that would be the same. Ah, it's you. <laughs> it's you. The sheep is a female sheep. It's it's a you. That's really specific. Surely the emoji isn't E W E. Maybe maybe it is. Is that is there a way to visually identify that that's a you? I don't know, but I but I think that's it. It's U T B I. Those don't spell anything, do they? Can you arrange those in any order to spell anything? I don't think so. No, I, I don't think you can. Um, but they are letter homophones. Oh, and that's the purple one. Interesting. Okay, so what are these? Saw, scream. <laughs> They're films. Saw, scream. Actually, this one could be E.T. or Alien, actually. Those are both films. And then Dracula. There is there is there there are certainly films called just Dracula. I mean, there's Bram Stoker's Dracula, which is directed by Francis Ford Coppola. I'm sure there are other films called simply Dracula. Um, or or vampire. I mean, there are films just called vampire. Maybe it's maybe that's what this is meant to be. Or maybe that's what the emoji is called. I, I don't know. Um, and this one could be E.T. or Alien. Oh, horror movie specifically. So I guess that sort of suggests not E.T., but rather Alien, which I think you could certainly call a horror film. Um, all right, well, there we go. That was a very, a very strange and interesting connections. Appropriate, I suppose, to April Fool's I Felt Fooled. But there we have it. That was it. Back tomorrow. Bye for now.